With any electric vehicle, range anxiety is a real thing. So in this video, we're gonna showcase the Thrust Me Kicker, how far it goes and how long it lasts. Welcome back to The Rudder. My name's Damien, this is Brooke, and we've got Molly and Pippa bouncing around somewhere as well. We've got the 230 high field roll up and we've got the Thrust Me Kicker electric outboard all charged up. We're going to be doing some range testing. Uh, we're going to take it in turns. We're going to go out and run 10% of the battery off and use our watches to see how far we go, how long we go and how fast we go. And then we can use a bit of crazy mathematics to uh, give you a bit of an idea of, of what your range will be with these. We decided to do it this way uh, rather than just driving it for up to like two and a half hours um, <laughs> because that would take a long time. But also this motor isn't really designed to run for hours at a time. It's designed to get you backwards and forwards off your boat to the beach or whatever you're doing. So we thought doing these smaller tests, we're going to do it at each speed. We won't do um, speed one because that's just incredibly it's pretty slow. slow. <laughs> pretty slow. Uh, so I'm going to do speeds two and three. And I'm going to do speed three and four. And we won't be doing speed six because speed six we've found is like a turbo thing. So the, the battery does drain. I think it's it's designed to do a bit of a turbo shot if I think you need it, to. I think it's designed to sort of, you know, if there's a ferry coming and you just need that extra little push to go. So we're going to focus on range two to five in this yeah, video. Um, if you have a look at our other video at Peel Island, I sort of felt two or three was really where you'd probably be using, um, you know, if you were out for a few days because you don't want to run the battery down too much. But, um, I mean, we haven't done the test, so let's go do some tests. All right, we're off doing the first tests. Uh, hopefully you can see there we're at 100%. I'm at speed number two. I've got my watch on, so I can show you all the details later on. Uh, and what we're going to do is, I don't know if you can see behind me, we're just going to go up and down our canal um the wind's coming from the east so i'm actually going into the wind at the second uh but when i turn around obviously we get a bit of a lift so hopefully try and keep it even and uh let's see how we go we're just cruising along at level two so we're just down one percent already as i said we're, as soon as it hits ten percent off we'll uh turn everything off and and see what we've got and we are heading off at two knots the predicted range at this speed is two hours so i should be doing this for about 20 minutes so i won't uh won't keep you going the whole time we're halfway through our 10 percent test so i've used five percent we've done a quarter of a nautical mile uh we're holding at 2.3 knots pretty much uh we've gone from our place up there and all the way back down here uh we're just about to turn around again so we will go back into the breeze and it's been going for about seven minutes so a little bit under the expected um, time but i'm not surprised at that it's real world testing uh, there's breeze there's current there's all sorts of things happening so let's do the turn around and head back around again all right i've just hit 10 percent uh, i've just turned the battery off so i can just talk for you a little bit uh, we're going to float back a little while we're doing that um we did 10 percent did about 15 minutes a little touch over we did dead on half a nautical mile and basically we averaged a little bit over two knots. So, you know, not too bad. So times that by 10 gives you a real world average and that's 10 Ks. So, you know, half a nautical mile is basically a K. Uh, so not too bad. Let me start everything up again. I'll get my watch going again and we're going to do level three, uh, which also I think is a fairly useful level we should only get an hour and a half out of this level um, so let's see what we get all right let's turn the motor on okay so we're halfway through the test on the level three and um, we are going quicker we're going to about 2.6 knots uh, but we've done about four minutes and just 0.2 of a nautical mile so it is going through the battery a bit more uh, we have been going, well, sort of crosswind. The wind's all over the place today. Probably we're going downwind more than anything else. But anyway, testing it out. Let's see what we get. We've just finished the test on the third level. Uh, and we got 0.25 
of a nautical mile. So we did not get as far as the level two and we did six minutes. So it, that higher level did uh, take it out of the battery a bit more. I don't know if it had anything to do with doing that back to back, whether the battery got a bit warm and the efficiency wasn't so good. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just putting home now. I'm gonna take this off, we're gonna recharge it. I'm gonna let it cool for a second and then Brooke's gonna come out and do levels four and five. I've just charged the kicker up to 100% again. Brooke's about to take it out to test speeds four and five. But I just thought I'd let you know, uh, by the time I got back, it was down to 75% and it's just taken an hour and a quarter to take it from 75% back to 100, which pretty much aligns with you know the, the manual that says about four hours for a full charge. So Brooke's about to take off and she's got some uh, extra ballast with the puppies there to try and equal the weights, <laughs> sort of. Um, so I'll hand over the camera and Brooke will take it off on level four. So we're on level four. We're going at about just under three knots. We're actually going into the tide and into the wind at the moment. We've, uh, we're down to 96%. So we'll see what happens when we turn around here. Around we go. Just check my watch. Yeah, we're going touch over three knots. So there we have it, there's 10% on level four. We um, were going at just over three knots and we were going for four minutes and 15 seconds and we covered 350 meters. And the last speed we are going at is uh, number five. And we're cruising along with the wind and the tide. We're going a little bit over three and a half knots. And um, we've so far covered 200 meters and we're at uh, almost 3% to go. <clears throat> so um, we'll see which level is most economical for the speed you go at and for the amount of time the battery lasts. There we have it, level five, we covered 140 meters and went for two minutes, 56 seconds with an average speed of three knots. One last test I thought I'd do before we pack everything up is get the old girl, the and my Mercury uh, three horsepower outboard on the same high field and do the same test just to give a bit of an idea of what's happening um, with the kicker and the speeds we're getting in this roll up 230 high field. So we've got everything ready to go here. Uh, oh, it's a bit different having to pull all these things. All right, hold on. Okay. So I've got my watch here and just on the sort of a bit over idling we're going about two two knots which is pretty equivalent to what we did on the kicker um, and truth be told 80% of the time this is how we used to sort of roll around uh, with this outboard now if we just go up a little bit okay we're up to 3.4 there and one thing that is apparent with this model of roll-up is that it's quite flat in the water so there's a lot of water to push so the faster you go uh, the more water you've got to push which made a pretty hard job for the kicker and for this outboard and lastly if we try to get it up it does stand up quite a bit and we're up to four knots um, it's not very comfortable like this so I probably would Go around here so it is a smidge faster than the kicker um, but you will note we've got all that noise and all the other stuff that goes around with having a, a um, petrol powered outboard the other thing that we can't really test is range um, you know at least on the kicker you had hold on I'll just turn this thing off ah at least on the kicker uh, you had a good idea you know you could a digital range of of how much you've got left you just got to take a bit of a guess. You peek inside the fuel tank and um, and see what you've got. Okay, we've finished up to the test. I've done some number crunching. Uh, I think it was quite successful. It's quite, well, it's very enjoyable, if not anything. So I think speed two is really where you want to be. So we went 0.5 of a nautical mile, which is a, 
almost a kilometre in 15 minutes at around two knots. The max speed was 3.1 knots. And if you did that to all the way through 100%, that's 9.2 kilometres and two and a half hours almost. Speed three was almost half. So we went 500 metres at six and a half minutes. 2.3 knots, max speed was 3.5 knots, a little bit faster, which ends up at 5 k's and an hour, so pretty good. And then it really drops off as you go through speed 4, only went 0.19 of a nautical mile um, in 4 minutes, um, average speed was 2.7 knots, max speed was 3.7 knots, and that ends up 3.5 kilometres and 40 minutes, and the run times are exactly what it says in the manual which is really good to see lastly speed 5 was only one um, 0.14 of a nautical mile which is in only three minutes <laughs> <laughs> average speed of almost three knots top speed of almost four knots um, and that's a max of 2.5 kilometers and only 25 minutes of run time look at the end of the day the thrust me kicker is designed as a tender motor uh, to get you from your boat to shore it's a great little system um, and so yeah which which speed do you reckon we'll sit at generally i think just cruising along at number two having nine kilometers of range while yep. you're out is, especially is when really we're at what, anchor for four nights or something like that that's what we really want yep and um Look, we're going to be playing with the settings. Maybe we can get some more out of it as we get more familiar with it. And, and of it, course, it depends on the wind and the tide and the rest of it like yeah, that. So we did have a little bit of wind today. I'm going to do a really in-depth breakdown of setting up the kicker. So that'll be up um, very soon. If you're keen to purchase one of these Trust Me Kickers, which it's a great little motor, um, see the description. All the links will be in there. All right. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the rudder. Happy boating.